Chinese people from communities in Shiwangandu district in Mchinga province have a reason to be happy and celebrate. Care International Zambia has completed the construction of 15 water points through a nutrition improvement intervention called the Southern African Nutrition Initiative, SANI. SANI project that is being funded by the Global Affairs of Canada. The water points comprise six new boreholes and nine rehabilitated boreholes that were constructed at one rural health center. Three schools and 11 villages at a cost of over 3 million kwacha. Over 8,000 people in Shuangandu district have benefited from the water points. Sunny began implementing the project in March 2016 as a build on the nation nutrition program, the first 1,000 most critical days that was developed by the government in 2018. The project is being implemented because safe water, adequate sanitation and good hygiene are important for long-term improvement in the nutrition and health of the population. Additionally, the water point construction was complemented by other activities which included nutrition education, gender and hygiene messaging as they relate to water use and how to manage the facilities. Speaking during the handover of 15 boreholes, Care International Zambia Country Director Geraldine Zwak said that the project was a follow-on to the Phase 1 Scaling Up Nutrition Program, one of the largest nutrition programs that CARE managed from 2013 to 2018, covering 14 districts. She said the SANU project focuses on nutrition-specific, nutrition-sensitive, and enabling environment interventions in order to achieve decreased stunting and wasting as well as decreased women's undernutrition. Program Director Dr. Henry Longo, who was speaking on her behalf at Navutende Community School in Shiwangandu District during the handover ceremony, observed that the water, sanitation and hygiene wash included strengthening the operation and maintenance system and training of local artisans and management committees. The water, sanitation and hygiene activities that included community-led total sanitation, I looked at several trainings at community level, training of water committees as well as area pump vendors, and also buying some tools that would help us as a community to look after our water points. The total cost was a Zambian kwacha 3,310,470. Madam District Commissioner, today we are witnessing the realization of a key milestone as we hand over 15 water points constructed in Shuangandu District. In implementing the water and sanitation activities, the project received tremendous support from Shuangandu District Council, the Department of Water Resource Development, the District Health Office, uh, village headmen and women, out there for guests of honor, I wish to take this opportunity to commend these stakeholders for the effort put in this project. I would further uh, wish also to commend and urge the council to continue with the same spirit of providing leadership in coordinating water, sanitation, and hygiene interventions in the district. Speaking at the same function, Shuangandu District Commissioner Evelyn Kang was said that the purpose of the project was to assist the government and the communities to improve the nutrition status of women of reproductive age and children under five years. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to specifically comment on the importance of safe water and good sanitation in the promotion of nutrition. Poor nutrition during a child's first 1,000 days, from pregnancy through to a child's second birthday, can cause irrevocable health and development consequences throughout the child's life. Poor nutrition in women of pro reproductive age and during pregnancy not only affects child health outcomes, but has severe consequences for material disease and deaths. 
a shortage of safe drinking water, inadequate sanitation and poor hygiene practices with the accompanying high risk of disease outbreak pose an additional threat to malnourished children. The water points which has been constructed are very important and I urge the receiving communities to guard them jealously. The water points will reduce the stress on women and children of searching for water for household, livestock use and reduce diarrhea diseases. Kabili, tuwalimu buchushu bukalamba Mwa especially wakafundisha Bale tibafukula pa menshi Yaka mabwele la mukufukula Nomba ndesu vila mubu shiku wale elono kuya panta nshi Taba katale abaku watapo ubu chushi uwa msangongoyo Kuna kunche nde tuwa ikala lesa ali tupala tuwa likuwa temi mana Ia, ia lekana lekana nemi follow na tukwata nomba aya menshi tayaba ya chingililwa pamula ndu ifi chitika mo fiali fula echo kanshi tuachimona icha ansansa pantu tuakwata nomba amenshi aya chingililwa ayo aya apimwa kabirite muku nwa kweka ya kula tuafuirisha kona pano pene paskulu Mumirimo ia wea ntanshi ili pamongo kutama kwa njelua. Kabili na bana mayo valonga ni na pamopene, aba, panopene, aba leleta, aba ana kumaanda faivi. Kabili na kufipumo. Tulesu bilo kweba ati, tabaka nwepu amenshi na kabili, haya kutia aba letela amafia kumaanda. Nentu ngulu shishonsesha. Pa district, e, maka maka na ba guest of honor hubo tukwe telelo, hubo haba tusaka manasa na muku tubutu kila. Tulipanshi tule kunkula, paku tilati, mutu so kwelele ba keo kuisa pari inonchende, no kuisa tuafo muli mo ukala mba pa mongoyu. Our children and the community of this place na butende, for sure, they were drawing water from the fallow. And that water was contaminated. And at one time, as teachers at this school, we did two jobs. At one time, we were given the first AD kit from the Camfed. And when pupils comes, they were drinking water from the fallow, as I said earlier on. So, shortly, they were suffering from diarrhea. And we started giving them medicine to make sure that pupils can be healed just for a short period of time. And we, we, we did two jobs, giving medicine and also working with chalk as teachers but now we are relieved and for that reason i would like to thank the care international of zambia who worked together with our district shuangandu <laughs> Sangatama <laughs> The community is elated by the development. To show their appreciation to Care International Zambia, they compose the song through which they express their feelings.
Tuatotela sana pali bakea, tuali mumu shiku. Nomba ino nshita wacha, tatula tapako mume nshi, mufishi maawe. Tuatotela sana pa mensha ya batu, tuwalo buya ntanshi. Tuatotela bakea sana tuwaba totela. Tuwaba sengela tuwali nwefi kwefi ya chia 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 ve mkwai. Kwa ina nanande, tuwala tuwale nwefi ko. Tunuwa mfi kwa mkwai kuringa nefwa tuwa ikala kuno. Nomba tuwa shuka, tuwa kwa tame nshu asuma. Ola tukwe tame nshu mkwai, na tuleka nomba nongu wala shiki. Tuwale nwa mensha ya vya mumu folo. Nomba tatalesa tuwa totela makamaka fwewa vela kuisamba. Resa, pare wa kea mule ndo mutende. Parichi. Mkwai, mchinshi utuwa ilo kwa fiashi vesu. Kuringa nango kupeka nye kwesu kwa wana utende kea grupu. Tuwalando kutu watote, la pofi watu poke lipaku tupangile chima chivia, na pofi watu watote la kuli vena kwa fiashi vizu. Kali hitu wapeka nyakone fia kulia, kufuma kuli wakea kutusambisha, kuma sambi beba atulete kutu wa sambi la kofi yonso kutu wala uya ntanshi patanshi. Nungu ipika kwa fiashi vizu. Tuwali peka nyakwa msalu wa kusashi la, kutia fiashi vizu kutibayi saamu na kwe fifi ntu, kutikanshi fifi ntu wale tufunda. Tafile wela pandu mafile ya patanshi, tule sambisha kuna wanesu muma mishi alikana alikana. So mkwa ifi ntu ifi osefo tuwa ipiki renge ifi. Munani tu atumba kwenye koko nena mesha mpanga na msaluo angwangu bo apaampa tionse tu avika pukuta fiasha sasa kesi munanga wa kia wesu kutia masambio ya bota ali ya pafi ali ya kuya panta shino kusambia kuiba ifui mguai tureto tarafu kuiba kia paku tureto lo buya anta shuu pant bobo buya anta shuu mguai tuesu ingira mwaba na ba no no abalero alo bulere wa man wa man yontri sheni. Indeed, efforts to reduce malnutrition, which is a challenge in Zambia, where stunting among children under five years old stands at about 30%, safe and reliable clean water, adequate sanitation, and good hygiene practices play an important role in improving nutrition. The community in Mayembewad, in Shuangandu, is able to cultivate vegetable gardens, rare chickens, and livestock as a way of supplementing their diet and generate income. Under the Sun Project, we are implementing a, a nutrition project called Southern Africa Nutrition Initiative. And the, under here, we have a number of interventions that we are implementing. We have nutrition specific interventions that are health related, including mycin. Then we also have nutrition sensitive interventions that include agriculture and wash activities. So under the agriculture interventions, we are promoting a number of different types of vegetables as a way of diversifying the household um, diets. And uh, we give seeds to the mothers who belong to an interest group. So the, the seeds include different types. We have the rape, the tomato, the Chinese cabbage, the African eggplant or impa, the eggplants. Uh, we also have cabbages in some, some gardens. The whole idea is at the end of it all, at household level, households should have different types of foods or vegetables that they can eat. And before the project started, when you ask the mother to say, how does a small child who's just maybe starting to eat porridge benefit from the vegetables? Previously, they would just say through the mother's milk. But because of our interventions, the trainings that we are doing, the training in how to prepare these different types of vegetables for baby foods, now mothers are able actually to process the rape or the green vegetables and add it to the porridge and therefore a child who's about seven months going upward is able to benefit from the vegetables through the porridge that they are being fed. Then apart from that, apart from food security, if a mother has excess, they can also sell to enable them to buy things that they are not able to produce locally, like the soap and cooking oil. And by doing that, we believe that the diets will be diversified and malnutrition will, re will reduce at household level. The result is visible, a healthy meal on the table.
the construction of water ponds in Shiongandu and other districts by the Sunny Project will reduce the stress on the communities of searching for safe water for households and livestock use and reduce the burden of waterborne diseases among the people.